Here's finally that video about um, me answering some questions for the 1000 follower event, which I have planned for like two or three months now. So here I am answering your questions as just me. Let's get straight to the point. What is the most embarrassing thing that ever happened when you recorded? There's actually not a lot because I record alone in my room, so it doesn't really matter if people, if anyone sees it. But one time I was recording a video as Germany <laughs> and I was yelling at Lutz quite loud and I thought I was home alone, but I wasn't because my dad was downstairs. So later that day, he asked me like, what were you yelling at? And then I realized he heard me. How were you introduced to Italia or to be Italia? Well, some friends told me about the manga, about, um, well, countries being people. So I got interested and then one time I came home from school and I saw the first volume in a small bookshop and I bought it. And later I discovered the anime, but a few months after that I was already out of it, it was not really interesting enough. And I wasn't really in the fandom, but then I already decided I wanted to cosplay Germany because he was my favorite. And then about two years later in 2014 another friend reintroduced me to the Italia fandom and she was also really into the two-piece, so that's how I got in touch with the two-piece. The first time I actually saw Lutz was in one of the... Um, in a AMV of the two-piece with the song Troublemaker. Does Mun have any ships? I do have ships, but not a lot, though. I enjoy my rare pairs, like Jeffra and Jereng. I also ship Oshan, it's kinda cute as well as Germany, it's Belgium. And my absolute Brody piece, Jeanette. I see them as business partners, which they are in real life actually, because the Netherlands and Germany have a lot of trade. As for the two piece, I used to ship two P Jereng really hard, that had to do with my friend. Recently I've also been shipping two P Jeffra somehow. It's weird, but it's still very interesting. And for some reason, to be your anime is also very appealing. But none of these are really ship as much as one pn to be Germany. Why did you choose to cosplay Lutz? And how long have you been cosplaying him? Well, I started RPing as Lutz when I was freshly introduced into the 2P Italia and I obviously I shipped 2P during. My friend was cosplaying Ollie, so I really wanted to cosplay Lutz. Him also thanks to the awesome blog Ask P to Germany. Shit. And then obviously I like Germany already, so naturally I like this 2P as well. So I developed my own interpretation of Lutz while RPing and cosplaying. He's just this really funny, dorky, clumsy idiot with bad humor. <laughs> and he comes quite close to my own personality. I've been cosplaying him since the end of 2014. That was my first attempt. It looked horrible because I had long hair and it was it was really random. It was at the con. A few days before it, we had the tickets, I was like, oh dear, now I need the cosplay. I already had the hat and the pants, but I needed a jacket and I couldn't find it anywhere, so I just kind of stole one from my mom. It had this, it had a good color, but it was, it was horrible. And my hair was like this, this long, and I tried to put it under the hat and oh, Does Mum cosplay people other than Germanics? Not yet. I want to cosplay Estonia and Denmark and Australia, but those are future plans and I have no idea when I'm going to actually do that. Would you cosplay any other Italian characters and why? Well, I want to cosplay Estonia because he's so rare. I don't think I've ever seen an Estonia cosplayer at the con. Uh, well, I can use my own hair roll. I have to make it a little lighter now. And I don't have to take my glasses off. Finally, a cosplay where I can just wear my glasses. And Germania is also on my list also because I have never seen him before. And it's another Germanic to add to my list. And he's awesome. As I said, Denmark is also a future plan. He's quite similar to Lutz. <laughs> and that's actually why I wanted to cosplay him. Australia is also really rare and I think it's it will be fun to do him as well. Besides, I can annoy the shit out of every England. But I have no idea when I will finish that or start. Or was it easy for you to get all the clothes you needed? I'm curious. Everything was actually quite easy to find, except the jacket. I had 
the, I bought the hat and the pants in a, a small army shop. I was in there, I was like, oh wow, this is perfect. And for the shirt, I just bought a white t-shirt and cut off the sleeves. Well, I asked a friend to do that and she sewed also lines on there because I cannot sew. I don't have a sewing machine either. I had boots, which I barely use because they're really uncomfortable and heavy to walk in. So I used little stars. But the jacket, oh, I could not find anything like it. It was so hard. I think I looked for a couple of weeks. Eventually in the shop, somewhere an online shop, I found it. I was like, wow, the color is perfect. It looks really nice and I'm using it all the time. Like not only for cosplay, but also when I go out and it's like a little chilly. It's perfect, I love it. Any other characters, 1P, 2P, Neos, you like apart from this cutie 2P Germany? I do. I like Germany, I like England, I like France, I like Prussia, I like 2P America, I like 2P England, Prussia, Hungary, she's pretty badass. Uh, Austria, Netherlands. There's not really a character I really dislike. How did you get the idea of making this blog? Very simple. I saw many ask blogs, uh, also from my friend who has cosplay ask, ask, cosplay ask blogs. That's a difficult word. And I really wanted one too, so I made one for Lutz. Uh, first I wanted to make one for Ludwig, but I was very insecure about that cosplay and my interpretation of him, so I started out with Lutz. How have you grown since becoming an ask blogger? Not in portraying Lutz, but certainly my interpretation of Ludwig has Grown. I used to be very stiff and emotionless, as I call it. That changed now. I'm more emotional, I guess. There is more expression on my face, I think. And I'm more loose when I cosplay him. Also, I'm not so insecure anymore. But also my ideas how to answer asks got way more creative and fun, I hope. What's your favorite part of cosplaying Lutz? And how did you get so interested about German culture? I think uh, making bad jokes and uh, being clumsy all the time and just being an absolute dork. And you can do all sorts of crap. Every time when I'm cosplaying as Lutz at the convention, there is a moment where I just do really random things and I have no idea why. I lived in Germany for 17 years, so that was almost all my life. And when I lived there, I wasn't really interested in Germany or the German culture. It all started when I came back to the Netherlands and started my study about German language and culture. I think I have this fascination for everything German since I started. Maybe it's history. German history is very complex. And that's, I guess, what makes it so interesting. Hi, I'm a big fan of your blog and you're inspiring me to start cosplaying as well. Do you have any tips for beginner cosplayers like me? Thank you, man. And congratulations for the follower milestone. You deserve it. Oh, I feel really flattered that I inspire you. And thank you. I've made a post before about lots of tips on how to start cosplaying and how to start an ass blog. It's most importantly is to have fun and don't make a competition out of it. Because everyone starts somewhere and over the years, months, weeks, days, you just get better and you learn more makeup skills or sewing skills, styling wigs. <laughs> It is very important just to just have fun. What's your best, most unforgettable experience when cosplaying alone and with partners, friends? What I always like while cosplaying, and this happened quite a lot, is that I that people mistake me for an actual dude. They look really confused when I start talking at the moment. The voice doesn't match the appearance. The parents of two friends actually thought I was a guy when I first appeared at the doorstep in cosplay. I take these things as a compliment because then because then I know that my cosplay actually is good because I look like a dude. The best example was when I was in Germany on a con and I went to the bathroom to fix my hair. And then this girl wanted to go and also go inside and she saw me. She looked at the sign and then she looked at me. And then I looked at her and was laughing like, no, don't worry, it's, it's the right bathroom. <laughs> And then she was like, oh, oh, cool cosplay. What also happens a lot is that I get recognized as Germany and that always is really fun. And that pe people want like pictures and hugs. It happens on every con that I get a random person running towards me wanting a hug from Germany. And also recently I've been recognized as a member of Honey for Tulips, the cosplay group I'm part of. 
The first time I was cosplaying Lutz at a bigger convention, I was waiting for a few friends and then these random people suddenly came to me and then I started singing that song about Germany, how it's a nice place, you know, the Germany, Germany, Germany is a really nice place. And I stood there and was like, okay, this is kind of awkward, but also kind of funny. And another time when I was cosplaying Lutz at the playground, I had someone with me who was cop England. And there were also, it was very busy, there, was a lot, there were a lot of kids there. And the kids stared at her and they were like, are you a real cop? No, I'm just dressed as a cop. Ah. And then they looked at me and they were like, are you the criminal then? Yeah, I'm the bad guy. When did you start cosplaying and who was your first? Also, who do you enjoy cosplaying more, Lutz or Ludwig, and why? My first cosplay ever was in 2012 when I was cosplaying Bart Roy from Black Butler. I want to actually redo him one time. I've never cosplayed him since, at least not on the con. <laughs> really, you're asking the impossible of me. I love both Germans just as much. Cosplaying Ludwig is more enjoyable because you get recognized more often when you're at cons. I also love cosplaying Lutz because I can just more be myself and do all kinds of random shit and it's like okay and also i'm the only to be uh, germany cosplay in the dutch italia community so everyone knows it's me <laughs> i have a little problem though my parents probably won't allow me because they're so strict does your family support your cosplaying hobby if not how do you get around that thank you so much when I started cosplaying, my parents were really confused too, because they didn't understand what it was or how it worked or whatever, and they made joke they made jokes about it, and that kind of hurt. Five years later, <laughs> they, they I think they have accepted it. They don't understand it 100%, but they aren't against it. And you know, as long as I'm having fun and socialize. It's, it's fine. When my first one to cosplay Germany, they were kind of concerned because obviously Germany looks like a bit of a Nazi and stuff. They just told me I should be careful with it in public, which I am, of course. I'm very aware of how I look and I don't even dare to walk over the street <laughs> alone in my cosplay. Um, one time my mom actually made a really nice compliment. She saw a picture of Germany. She asked me, did somebody draw you in cosplay? And I was like, no, that's the original picture. And she then said, I, re I, I really looked like him and I think I've never felt more confident about my Germany cosplay. So I don't really actually know how you can get around if your family doesn't support you cosplaying or if they are against it. Sadly, I'm sorry. Maybe if you try explaining what you're actually doing and that you're having fun and actually socializing, you're meeting people, at least I have met a lot of friends while cosplaying and that's always fun and you like get to meet people who have the same interests and are like you. It also binds people together, maybe they will understand them. I mean, it's, it's technically just dressing up with a bunch of friends. What can be wrong about that, right? But I don't know how your parents are. I hope it's they will accept it at some point and that you can start cosplaying as well. Thank you so much for watching, I hope you enjoyed it. And don't worry, the actual event for post war Lutz will come soon. I need to plan a few things here and there. I think I'm gonna need help with that because I have great things planned. <laughs> He's gonna suffer. <laughs> but if you have questions for post war Lutz, please send them to me. I have like three now. I'm gonna need a little more because I'm gonna be covered in fake blood and stuff and that takes a lot of time. Please send some asks about anything about post-1945, what you want to hear from Luz, regrets, things he did, uh, relations with allies, exes, I don't know, stupid asks are okay as well. But I will also be doing like s stories. You will see content, I hope you will enjoy it and Again, thanks for watching and I'll see you soon.